Hey guys, welcome to the full release of Don't Starve Hamlet. It's been a long time coming, over 6 months of the beta and early access, both of which I played extensively, so I am fairly excited. Admittedly, there's nothing really new in this particular update compared to the last build, but I feel like now is a good time to start a new campaign. It gives me a chance to have a look at some of the new world gen features, as well as testing out one of the new characters. I did a poll the other day to see who you guys would like me to play as out of the newer DLC characters and the overwhelming majority of you chose Wagstaff so I'm going to play as him today. That's definitely going to be a bit of a challenge for me coming from my playthrough as WX but it should be good, should be fun. As always it's going to be a pretty chill series, fairly laid back. Feel free to leave suggestions as we go. I will be using a range of mods and I'll make a list of those in the description below. So yeah, I think that's enough of an intro. Let's start a new world. All right, here we go. Nice two point landing. All right, we cannot see for shit. <laughs> Holy crap. Examine Varg. Oh boy. I love that. It's so nice. Rabbit hutch. Cooked lotus root. Ah, oh, come on. That one you can see. Monogram luggage. Yeah. So when you get close, you can actually tell what it is. Useless flags. Cool. I don't think that actually had a, a string beforehand. Alright, so as you can see, that's going to be the main issue. You need to wear glasses all the time, pretty much. You know what? I think I'm going to not collect the seeds this time. Ah, just kidding. I'll get it. <laughs> so, oh, we already have the city right here. Wow. That's pretty cool. And the wilderness on that side. So, these spectre goggles, they run out as well. So, we're going to have to keep building them. Uh, this is just a mod that I have. I'll turn it off. For now. It's pretty cool. It allows you to like see the damage that uh, you do to enemies and things like that. But I normally play with it off. Ah, here's another thing. I need to investigate. Ooh, okay. So if I chop that, I have a chance or I will find like some sort of trinket or something odd in there. But that's pretty cool. Although... I don't have any resources to chop that. I don't have an axe, so I need to find some flint. Jeez, we've got a fair few snap tooth dudes over there. Never seen a carnivorous plant react or reach such an illustrious size. <laughs> hey, a flint. I hate flint so much. <laughs> it's only really useful until you get gold. And then it's completely useless, except for building a pitchfork. Hey, alrighty. Uh, let's see if we can find some rocks. Oh, there's another thing there. That's cool, because it shows that there's a hidden object there. But unless you investigate it, that object won't appear. So for regular players, you won't be able to find anything in there unless you have like a magnifying glass or something. Yeah, we might as well collect all this stuff. It'll be useful at some point. Um, there's a gold. That's helpful. Build a science machine. Uh, rest in peace, lightning farm. <laughs> ah, I'm going to miss that so much. But, I mean, you get used to being slow pretty quickly. We've got more over there. I'm just going to leave it for now. I don't really need to worry about that. Don't hit me, please. <laughs> um, I'm collecting these because I'll need them for shears. And I'll also need them for going into the ruins and stuff. So they are pretty handy. I'll get them while I can. 
So I might need a few rocks as well for things like hammers. Who knows? Oh, here's what I should do. There you go. Okay, so it's getting a bit dark now. I'll probably head over to the city. And it's pretty safe to mine these because they will come back. As long as the those dudes, the gnats, are still alive. Hello, Mr. Pangolden. It poops gold. Fascinating. <laughs> ah, an extra flint. Cool. So those I will use to build an axe, I guess, is the next thing I need. I know I can mine those, but I'll just leave it for now. So the city is this way. I guess we'll just go and find some light for now. I can build a campfire if I need to. That guy's going to come and turn it off because he's a bastard. What was your name? Wellington. Okay. Wow, that's nice. I like that. I feel like they didn't used to have these wall things like entrances that's a newer thing a newer world gen which is pretty cool if i could find the actual city before night time that would be great because then i don't have to make a fire but who knows exactly where it is oh here we go <laughs> great all right so here is the city that we've got Looks pretty good, from what I can see. Yeah, nice little houses. Um, I saw a few of the shops. One, two, three. There's my house here, right at the end. So let's just have a little look. So in my previous game, my house was like at the front of the city. Now it looks like it's at the back. Don't know which I prefer. Why does this house have its own personal garden? What the hell? <laughs> Who lives there? I'll destroy that house and build my own one there. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of guards around here. A bit strange. Georgette lives there. Okay. Ah, uh, there's the, the city hall. So it took me forever to realize that this town, this island is Swinesbury, like this city. It makes sense, Swinesbury City Hall. I don't think the second city actually has a, a name, it's just known as like the Palace City, Swinesbury Academy. It makes sense. <laughs> I never really put two and two together. So yeah, that is the city, I guess. Not bad. I don't mind it. I like how they have some birch nuts. I think I was talking about the fact that I like the look of the birch nuts in the city, but my game didn't have them. It only had the, the tea tree ones, I think. So it's good. It looks nice. Um, see, I need a science machine now. I guess we might as well make them close to our house gonna live there anyway so might as well put a science machine there uh, now I need to think about getting gold and things like that gee they really didn't give me much space here did they I have a feeling that I might not end up spending that much time here to be honest this time I feel like building my own area instead ah the tinkering tab of course so these are the ones that I wear, Spectre Goggles. Unfortunately, I need a pigskin and I don't have any of that yet. But you've also got all of this stuff, all the other goggles. The Telebrella and the Telepad are particularly interesting to me, as well as the Thumper. That is actually really cheap as well, especially once you get to Shipwrecked. But for now, I'll just build some shears. I need a backpack as well. 
just chop this down. Get some twigs. I need a shovel. Can I make a shovel? Ah. Two flint. Come on. <laughs> Where's that guy that likes grass and twigs? Because I might be able to purchase one. Where is he? Do I not have any of those living here? The builder guy. Thanks. There are a lot of guards around here. Yeah, I don't see any builders. What the heck? Okay. Strange. So she wants clippings. I can get some clippings. That's how I, I planned on making the most of my money at the start of the game. It's probably the easiest way. You just chop some stuff. Although I don't think I have much. <sighs> Unless there's some over here. No. There really aren't many hedges to chop. What is this? <laughs> They forgot to build out here, I guess. And this sort of got cut off. That's weird. Hey, whoa, I saw you. I don't have any weapons. What is this doing here? <laughs> That's very strange. Is that thief going to come back or what? He's just left. Okay. Suit yourself. I'm going to put that... In my backpack. Oh, they're all going away. No. Damn it. I could probably chop these trees down, but they look so nice here. Yeah, this seems like the only one that I'm going to get. I have a few here, but none of them need trimming. Oh, that sucks. So I need to think of another way to make some money then. I could pick up poop. That's not much fun though. I think I might have to go into the ruins. That's going to have to be how I do it. So for starters, well, I need a lot of wood or well, more than zero wood anyway. So I'll get some of that. We'll just gather up a few of the basics. I mean, I don't have any grass or twigs either, so that's kind of important. Ah, uh, yeah, he doesn't like eating raw food. Okay, I mean, it costs you like five, uh, five health, so it's not a huge problem, but I just... Ah. Oh. I didn't even know they sleep. There you go. Yeah, it's not a huge deal. Five sanity. I mean, I won't actively go out of my way to... To eat that if I don't have to. So, uh, maybe we'll go this way this time. Because I went that way and I probably got most of the flint that I was going to get. I've said this many times, but the game does a good job of not giving you the things that you need. <laughs> Might as well go in here. We, we should be able to get a gold. Oh, that's, that's actually really good. Yes. Ah, oh, shit. Gotta get out of the habit of being WX. Nice. That's really good. Oh. Huh. 
So, um, I know you can get some materials from this, but I'll just leave it for now because I don't need that stuff. And I mean, my backpack is getting quite full as it is. So I might get a few grass like this because you get double. That's always helpful. I have four flint. Probably still want a bit more than that if I can. I'll need more twigs as well. All right, leave that at 50%. Let's have a little look around here. You know what? I might as well hammer the stuff because I'll go back to my my house, my little science machine that I've got there. And this stuff could come in handy. I might as well just leave it there. Get a free board. Rope. Uh... What don't I need? The seeds, probably. I don't even need the sand. Oh, wait, yeah. I need a shovel. That's one thing I do need. Wow, there really is a lot here. Guys have been farming a lot. But I feel like there has to be another land here, right? There's definitely a lot of farmland. No, it doesn't look like there is. Hmm. Okay. Well, I should eat something. Let's build a little campfire. Cook all this stuff. D simply delicious. So as long as you cook it, he's fine. That's good to know. He also has a, a hunger meter that is larger than most characters. I think it's 225 or something. Let's just have a look. 225. So that's pretty good. I mean, if you have a full belly, you probably don't need to eat for another day and a half. <laughs> cook seeds. Still good. Great. So, good, that's it, it's just this. In my last game I had like three of those. Um, okay. So, I'll leave this stuff here, I don't have any use for it right now. So, I guess there's still a good seven days until the next season, but we probably need to prepare for it at least because we won't be able to be wearing we won't be able to wear hats unless we want to have to look like that I mean it's not the worst having to be like that if there's fog it's gonna be looking like that anyway <laughs> I can leave the razor here because I, I never really used that at the start so yeah it's not, it's not bad. Like I said, I probably won't live here this time because this city is not that great. There could be something out there. I don't know. It's probably worth checking that out. Alrighty guys, I'm going to have to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Take care.